This morning I straightened it with my straightener and it is the Connor Professional Nano Silver Crematic Straightener. And I really love the wider blades. I mean, I've had like the really skinny ones and I've had like um, top brand straighteners, everything. This is the best straightener that I've had. So um, I ran through and I just straightened out my edges. My edges, my ends, hello. And I straightened out the top because I slept and it got all pink. So just, you don't have to have it perfectly straight, just um, somewhat so you can work with it pretty much. And I did have my hair in a top knot this morning so that's why it is like a little bit creased and I already have some of the steps completed. Next, I go in with a dry shampoo. And for my dry shampoo today, I use the Batiste Dry Shampoo. And I just get the original. I don't get a free set or anything, mainly because they don't really sell them where I am. So I don't mind a little white residue. I just rub it into my hair. This is really good. It's only seven or eight dollars, depending where you buy it. Another option for dry shampoo, second best dry shampoo I've tried is the Not Your Mother's Clean Freak Refreshing Dry Shampoo. This is about double the size <laughs> and it lasts me like six months and it leaves no white residue. It's not, it doesn't absorb the oil as well as the Batiste, but I use this almost as much as I use this. So really great product and it's only like four dollars for this versus eight dollars your choice today i'll be using the batiste and i'm just gonna spray it a little bit where i feel my hair is the most greasy or needs it the most So for me today, that's really all I had to do. I put in some oil or some serum. Um, I used the Matrix BioLage Deep Smoothing ser Serum. It says controls unruly frizzy hair. I love this stuff. It's almost gone. No. But this is like my favorite hair product. It makes it so, my hair so smooth. I have really frizzy hair but it doesn't make it oily. I mean, if you put like a ton, it would, but. So from there, <laughs> I have a couple like techniques to do a top knot. If my hair is straight like this, I like like a more slick top knot. And so I will just demonstrate that one for you now. I just pull it up like as high as I can. And then what I do is I get that in there. I just start wrapping it around my finger and then I pull my finger out and then I like tuck this little tail up just around and then oh great I'm in the middle of this with no hair tie that's super great no oh there it is so from there I take a hair tie you can take any hair tie I use these like little tie ones because I have the most tender head in the world no one can touch my hair without me crying so these don't pull my hair nearly as bad. So I choose one of these and I'm going to just like cup my butt, my bun and then pull it around so it's like down on the base and then another twist and then like cup it again, pull it over and then boom. So <laughs> I don't like like slicked up and then all really tight and then like a little ball like I, I don't like this look so what I do is since it's twist I just pull it out and make it like wider and that is gonna make it look like there's not like a hair tie holding it all there and I hate that look and then I also have to hide this little knot because that drives me nuts I don't know if we can even see it um, so what I do is I pull it down and then I take a bobby pin. So that already like has made it like, I don't know, sit on my head better than just like a little ball up in the air. What is on my neck? Ooh. And then I will take, if I need to, like this one, I'm a big huge tweaker. This one like turned out like pretty good. I don't, I would take a bobby pin and normally pin down the front as well. So I have like, 
that look of it sitting on my head rather than like ding 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 like a little ball bouncing on my head. Then I just take down some strands around my ear and I, I'm really picky. I hate when you can tell that like you tuck that behind your ear and it has like that curve to it. it drives me nuts. So I have to straighten it. So I just straight, ouch, that was my top. I just straighten that out so that it just lays right against my face. And this is my more sleek top knot. This doesn't have like a ton of volume. The bun isn't crazy. Give it a little bit of hairspray and you're good to go. Okay everyone, that is my top knot look for second or third day hair and I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see more videos and I will see you next time. Bye.